Man, my senior class, man, I light up when I think about those guys, bro. Um, the bond I built with these guys, I probably never build with any group of people ever in my life. From shedding blood with these guys, shedding tears with these guys, and burning up in the sun with these guys, you know, they're the only guys that know some of the hardest things that I've been through in my life because they experienced it with me. It definitely seems like it went by really, really quick because it's crazy to think that this is already the senior day. So it just, it's a lot. And you don't realize how fast it goes by until you're sitting in these shoes on your, you know, your last home game of the season. Senior class, just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys. I love you guys like brothers and the Longhorns for life. I would like to say we will miss you guys, we love you guys, and nobody, nobody can ever replace y'all. And thank you. Thank you. Heartfelt to the senior class there. Sam Ellinger, the only captain that is not a senior. So Texas will honor 16 players, five of them our team captains. This was a senior class that signed with Charlie Strong, played their freshman season with Strong, and stayed in that transition time with Tom Herman. So here are the top 10 plays for the senior class. Number 10, Jeffrey McCulloch picking off Peyton Bender back in 2018. A huge play when you consider it was a close win as Texas won 24 to 17. Play number nine, Devin Duvernay. Going sideline, Shane Bouchelle hits him and Duvernay 63 yards back in 2016. First touchdown for Duvernay as a Longhorn. That's when we started to figure out, okay, this kid can play. Then you've got Colin Johnson doing Colin Johnson things in Lubbock in 2016. That's nice ship. Oh yeah, you know, Colin has a knack for coming down with those crazy, crazy catches and getting the foot in somehow. And then another one from nine yards out. Texas won that 45-37 play. Number seven, John Burt. Go, Burt, go. Tiptoe on the sideline, 90 yards. This is probably number one if he finishes with the touchdown. Oh, yeah. You know he gets, you know, that's one you don't want to go in the film room after that. And like, everybody's, oh. And then number six, <laughs> Jack's laughs. I, I don't even know what to say. What? <laughs> That's Joker-esque right there. Intense, to say the least. Number five, this is Brandon Jones in a couple of games against Oklahoma. He was the first to pick off Kyler in 2018 and the first to pick off Hurts this season. Man, look, this guy here, he's, he's a great football player. He's definitely going to miss this game next year. Going to miss the juice and the energy of Malcolm Roach as well. Roach comes in at number four. He was making plays as a freshman. And Roach against West Virginia in 2016. Three tackles for loss in the game. Roach, emotional leader of this Texas senior class. Number three, it's Maryland. It's Devin Duvernay. We all know what happens left next. Stretch out. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is, this is maybe my favorite as a receiver. Unbelievable catch. So you would lobby to put this Superman. number one. Look at that. Number one's pretty good. Number two, goal line stand against USC. And who is it? It's Brandon Jones. Stephen Carr trying to get the angle. He does not. And that is a fourth down stop. Vital and a thumping win against USC. And at number one against USC in 2017, CJ. Uh, I think that was the, uh, but you got the TCU catch coming up, guys. Oh. Now, that, now that is how you make a catch. Yeah, Collins had, I mean, some unbelievable. You think about the tiptoe catches that he's had where he's yeah. like stretch Armstrong. He's had some crazy good catches. 